Oh gosh, I don't even know. Tasha's always got some RPAF names. Hold on, let's see if we can just... I knew it. Fifteen sixty, perfect. Ugh, Chrono, yucky. Oh, I stream with comms if you want to talk, otherwise just ping the map if you want me to be somewhere. Up to you, gamer. Let's see how these go. I, I believe in Taha. Oh, shit. I forgot to respond to a text. Finally short streaming? Indeed. Oh, speaking of, I have to upload. We got clown, lich abuser. Is that a core mesmer? It is. Okay. Oh, is that a core warrior? So I have options. I go thief for the dead eye, which is very good. Or I can go stay Mesmer and just try and bang team fights and hope that I kill people before the thief kills me. The thief is probably gonna open home and clown is stream sniping, so everything he can hear. Washi is clown? Yeah. Dude, I had a game the last time I played against Cloud. I played Thief and oh my gosh. He got eaten. Uh right, we'll have to change music. This is looping.
Spellbuckle, Weeple, Hollow Smith. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, he's crossing into close. One v wanting warrior. No condies. He's got a worm. Wait, what? There's only two middle. Hello. Dude, Mirage with Chrono is so yucky, man. The, like, the support Chrono Mirage synergy is just insanity. That was a very good walk. No scope. I can't really kill the Necromancer because he has so much Shroud. So, oh, this is what I want. Someone else should go plus this Warrior. Because I want to plus our Warrior. But I need to be middle. But I need to be far. It was good. Hope this is good. Oh, he blinked out. That's fine. We're kind of chilling as long as our Necro doesn't die. It's fine. It's fine. I'll just stomp this to be safe. Now I'm gonna look for the next kill. Laser beam class. Ew! What the fuck? <laughs> I have to be careful with how much I chase the thief because it's just such a bad matchup. <laughs> like he literally just feeds for no reason. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go help with the guardian. Warrior scary. <sighs> I don't, this is risky. Balls, that Tides of Time was tragic. <laughs> I have to watch this. I know Taja doesn't like being targeted, but it's all G. I kind of don't like plusing this because Warrior is just like takes forever to kill and the reaper needs to leave leave me please you can go middle i got this king don't you worry about it because the necro like we want the necro to be with the support but we don't want the support to outnumber the the wall wheel what the hell is on my twitch that was weird 
I'm kind of trapped here. I'm going to sack this because we have a guy 1v1ing far. So I'll just like sack it for kills, but have positive momentum. See, like they, they can go take a free full cap, but like, okay, kill, done. So you see the res? Get another kill. Big Taj. And then our Puggy's 2v1. So all that momentum actually came from an outnumbered fight. And we got two kills. And right now we have three accounted for, which means this is free. Warrior can rotate middle for free. Although the only thing I don't like is that the Reaper has tendencies. And I'm still marked. So as long as I'm marked, I don't care about the Thief because the Thief only is thinking about me. Once the mark disappears, he's looking at someone else. Mark is gone. I need to be careful of magic bullet. Ew. Knock, he's gonna roll in. There it is. Yo, clown, you just got fucking dunked on. Oh my gosh, you took like 15k from that. You just died 2v4. Oh, the necro is annoying me. Eek. I kind of want Taja to die. Okay, okay. Okay. I'm dead. Oh, fuck. I just had to react, like, at, like, an insane rate. Our issue is our necromancer not being in team fights. I'm gonna go middle to be honest, because we have support. Like, if the necro is like living, like if if clown had any brains, he'll just plus the necro endlessly, and then it doesn't matter for a head middle, and then I'll have to just trade to the opposite side node. But clown doesn't know how to rotate. He jumped, so that actually- No! We had Shroud. <gasps> you dropped Shroud, you greedy bastard. Notice, as soon as I talked about Clown plusing, he knew how to plus. You know what I'm saying? This build is so good with the support. Oh my gosh, she had Swagger Storm. He lives. You think he greeds for the kill? Do it. Do it. Ow. Oh, I died to F2. I actually didn't die to the to like a skill that I could see. Just the cast. 
Like, oh, I'm attacking the warrior. Oh my gosh, deleted from Narnia. <gasps> he didn't die? Now you did. <laughs> No, he power blocked my blurred and clown still dies 1v2 because we're just built different. Get me out of here. Give me no magic bullet in the ass. Um, yeah, we stay middle. I would love to catch a reset before the thief off respawn kind of puts it in me. Bad necromancer. Big damn. Again, again, again. <clears throat> Had an unranked game against that guy last night and thinks he was typing in map chat. Maybe mental health of that. Yeah, he's a weirdo. He's just a really weirdo. This kid... This kid has been streaming for weeks with the title Wanna Farm Shorts Gaming. And you know what's the godlike part? Every time I get against him, like, he might get like one game a day where I just get shit on. But it, like, I'm countered. But it's just, it's, it's good, it's good memes. Chrono Power is good on PvP? No. Although the question is, did we have better pugs? Their warrior was solid. Their reaper was solid. They just didn't play the map at all. They like, all they did was like force team fights into support chrono. Yeek. Deleted from Narnia? Dude, I'm so sad I didn't get the kill. Oh no, I know Clown has a crush on me. I, I, I know that. It's all good. It's all good. This build is so fun with the support chrono. It just like, it, it gives you the two things that you don't have. Resistance and quickness. Full moon. Oh, it's the moon color person. Wood. <laughs> okay. What to play? What to play? I think I'm going to play focus for meme value. <clears throat> Actually, she, uh, she looks good into everything but the vert, and I have... The vert gives off tunneling tendencies. Mental savior. Alright, I'm gonna swap and play shield. Because they've got two holosmiths. 
Another really cool interaction that we can do is we can block on purpose so that the thief uses sword three on us and then we'll kill him during it with instacast other bullshit. So you can like kind of like bait him into the animation locks. Ah, <sighs> R. Get me in. We might do some like I might I might play some like dark synth wave or some shenanigans. I'm gonna just uh, tickle the node. You guys uh, have fun. The reason I stopped that stomp is because of my support dies. I can use this basically as an insta res. Got team. We win middle because clowns won't be winning far. Sickest no scope of all time. Fuck. This class is kind of broken. <laughs> oh, you caught you sleeping, big dog. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, we killed NG too. Love that. We have two kills middle, they just have to rally the Mesmer, and we are in very good shape. If the Mesmer dies, it's a little bit troublesome. We will see how this goes. Just cleave, cleave, cleave. Mesmer's up. Mesmer resets. Thief off respawn is going to want to cross into close. So I'm either back noting here or I'm pushing 1v1. The reason I'm going to push is because I actually like this one a lot. Chrono died, NG has 1v1 with Necro. If Thief decaps home, I'll trade it because I want to be in this fight. Yeah, Thief's here. The double rally. You'll hold this and this. Thank you. Our thief just got to kill 1v2. Huge. You snowball here just a little bit. Push the 2v1. We're going to push him hard and push him deep.
Oz. All I have to watch for is the Hammer Guardian there, and I'm fine. Rut row, rut row, rut row. I am in danger. I am in danger. Oh, please, I want to live. All right, they committed to me pretty hard. I'm just going to take my reset because Taj probs dead. Beef kills Reap 1v1. Unwinnable matchup. Chrono resustains and Mesmer gets decap. Trading decap middle for decap far. And then we got one kill top and they got one kill home. I will actually full cap because it looks like Thief's getting free far and we want nodes on the board. Never mind, I have to go help Papa. I am... You taxi me? Please, fuck. One. The Reaper is going to need my help, Arino. I'm coming. Please. Oh, shit. I hit him with that daze. Love that for me. Block. Wah. Reaper rallies. Hoggy's map awareness. Big feed. Meagle bottom buff. Mm -hmm. I got free top. I don't know if he makes this in time. I'm gonna commit. Balls of steel. Fuck. That sucks. That ties the time was so good. Capping, please don't hit me. Is this like power shatter? Yeah. Bro got smushed. What's up, Big Z? This, this core guardian terrifies me. Dodge? One more, one more. Just, just do it, just do it. You've never wanted to dodge so bad in your life. Man. We're gonna have to do some Jigga Dam like this. Oh, if I got that daze on the sword two port, he was dead. Never mind, he still died. I might have to start side noting because nobody on my team wants to do it, but that's fine because the only 1v1 I don't like is technically, I mean, technically, guard, thief, and vert aren't amazing. I don't. It's late enough in the game where I'm going to commit to full capping this because they're both dead and the Necro is going to try and free cap far and then the Mesmer is going to leave. Mesmer should pull out. This is bad. Yeah, she's probably dead. That's not her fault. The th I, I don't know. Someone overextended, but it's okay. I just baby this node. I want to hide if I can. Because 
we're, we're close to the point where we actually win with one node, so I can start babying a single node, and then and then like people feeding into me if they're not ready for the one v one, like our free kills, like this. Like I don't, I could push into this, which is fine, but th this node is like the stocks. Yeah, there he is. Come, come. Unless he gets free. No, he's not even going for top. Man, what's it like losing a 100-0 matchup in your favor? Could not be me. Shh, sleep, Prince. Thank you for the five points. <sighs> Shield five for might. Look at the NG. Dodge. You're so afraid. And now I babysit middle for the win. Banger in Dieters. GG. Fucking clown man. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Oh. See, you know what's funny? A couple, maybe four weeks ago, actually not four weeks ago, maybe closer to five, clown actually was farming me so hard in ranked. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to play Deadeye for two weeks. And now, now we got that matchup knowledge. Although we should probably let him win one or he won't get our cues anymore. Are my friends with very bad player? Um, I used to talk to him a little bit, but but not not as much anymore. I tried to watch one of his videos and it just wasn't really my style. We went from golden aisle or golden hour to like really intense shit. Whew. Oh wait, I don't want to play this yet. Hold on. This now we click it. I've been playing Guild Wars 2 for two months. I tried Mirage and couldn't kill anyone one versus one. Dog, I have probably twelve thousand hours on this game total. Probably. Don't worry about it. Just just put some time in. Like, skill in video games is literally a direct correlation to just time invested. Muscle memory? It's actually... The, the restricting feature in Guild Wars 2 is not as much mechanics, usually. It's applied mechanics. So, like, muscle memory is basically saying, I physically can't do with my hands what my mind wants to do in-game. I, I Most of the people that I've coached, when I've done coaching with people, it has it is not the restrictive quality. It's, like, it's not like people are like, oh yeah, I want to do this, but I physically can't. People don't understand what to even attempt to do mechanically because the mechanics of this game, in, in all honesty, is actually pretty simplistic. Um, the matchups and the flowcharts are very complicated because there are so many and so many variations can change like the various flowcharts and whatnot. But in terms of like the actual mechanical comp like application is, I, I, I don't think I would consider it that difficult. I mean, it's 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 learnable. I would never be like, yeah, I don't think you can learn how to play this class because it's too hard. I, I don't think I would say that to anyone. The application is just so much harder.
Quick two O, sweet. My, my Power Mirage Copium has been quite low, because I don't think it's, like, amazing in ranks, but with the support, it is so S-tier. It is so good. Oh my gosh. It would be better to try... Okay, so, my unfortunate first half of my reply is that I've never played WoW, so... I can't really help you by talking about class similarities where it would be easier for you to learn a class based on something you've already done. Honestly, a lot of gamers from WoW, when they come to Guild Wars 2, they're like, oh, I play like Assassin or whatever it is in Guild Wars 2, and they, they end up playing, or in WoW, and then they come to uh, Guild Wars and they play Thief. And they're like, yeah, I played this in WoW and I was really good at it. I'm going to play Thief in Guild Wars 2 and be really good at it. Don't think that any aspects of WoW transfer to Guild Wars 2 in any capacity. Don't think mechanics, don't think role, don't think positioning, anything. Think of them as completely unrelated games. WoW to Guild Wars 2, in my opinion, from the from the gamers who play WoW that I have seen and interacted with, they always think that because they were good at WoW, something of that will transfer here. It won't. And I wouldn't have that mental. So if there's like a class that's like a mage, right, or a spellcaster or something like that, and you think in Guild Wars 2 it's going to transfer, it's not. Because Guild Wars 2's balance is way more volatile than games like WoW, right? The, like, in, especially in PvP. Like, right now, the classes that I would recommend people to play are Ranger um, and Vindicator are, like, really good. And Support Chrono. Support Chrono is by far the easiest high-impact build that you can play. And it takes almost negative brain cells. All you have to do is look at your team and be like, who's dying? Let me go save you. And it's fast. And it's got a lot of insta-cast. And don't try to draw comparisons. Okay, there you go. Yeah. I I've always had people come and play, play Guild Wars 2. And they're like, yeah, man, I played WoW. And I was like top X hundred. And I was like really good. And I'm like, well, you're dog shit at Guild Wars. And that's okay because the games are completely different. But I, I don't think they're similar at all. It, the, the most difficult part about Guild Wars 2 is understanding that it is a numbers game of Conquest and not Team Deathmatch. Because everyone thinks of it as Team Deathmatch, but it's not. It's about nodes. And then people don't understand the formulas of how you um, invest in fights and, and outnumber fights to get positive momentum to win. Like most people, they just go to the first fight that they're closest to. Or, or if they don't go to the closest fight, they go to whatever the most important objective is. And that's where they go. They don't have awareness of what the enemy is doing. It, it's kind of like chess, right? One of the gr one of the best pieces of advice I've ever heard when I used to play a lot of chess was, stop trying to capture the other king, the, the other person's king, and think about what they're trying to do and stop them. It's very similar in Guild Wars 2, right? When I'm making these rotations at the end on that temple game, I I could have gone middle for free. What did I do? I waited because I knew that the other team's thief just got two kills, and their win con was to snowball into our close. So I waited, and then the thief came, and then I won my 1v1, and then after I deny what they want to do, then I go team fight mid for free, right? And it's and it's really important that uh shield's fine here. I'm looking for the first person to overextend onto the node, and then I'm gonna just laser beam the shit out of them. Core Ranger, huh? You're gonna roll.
Ew, you dodged in. What are you doing? You're trolling. What? How do I get 2v1'd? Chase you to the ends of Narnia King. Wait, did they just like get like a bunch of reses? <gasps> Resistance, please! I'm in danger. I'm in danger. I, I have nothing. Alright, time to blow my load on this downstate. Nine point three K, what the fudge? Roll in. Boop. That sucks. I expect the scrapper to be riding my balls in a second. I go for a really early uh, distort because I don't want to get weakness on me because once I get weakness, I can't do damage anymore. Bro, none of these candies are mine. Yeah. One, one. I leave. Um, Ranger is really important, but Mez is there too. Roll, 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 roll. They did not kill Scrapper, so I'm looking for Scrapper. Yeah, I think he's done. Yeah, GG next. Start fresh and decide what class speaks to you. Yeah, Gears 1 over Gears 2. I've never played it, man. I was a little too young. Gears is there when the old magic was written. Goodbye. I'm sorry. You're gonna roll? Yeah. Roll again. Do it. Chrono is so broken. Support Chrono. Support Chrono is insane. I already tried most everything. Stay in shield. I played Mirage, Greatsword, Dagger, Pistol. Yeah, I don't like that build. I don't think it's that good. Virtuoso and Deadeye. I think Deadeye is like very solid in PvP. You, the only thing about Thief is this, and and this is th there's a couple of different ways to play Thief. Right, you can play a support where you want to be in team fights. You can play like a team fighter where you like kind of need a support to hold your hand to stay alive, but then you like do like really big dam. You can play a duelist where you like go and like try and take 1v1s and live 1v2 as best as you can. Or you can play a roamer where your job is literally just to do whatever you want, go anywhere you want and find kills. And if you find a lot of kills, you're playing good. The, the thing about roamers are you kind of need targets to be pressured by your team, right? It, it's I, This is the only uh, example I ever use for this stuff. It's like being a lion... In Africa and when there's a pack of gazelles you pick the you pick the weak old gazelles on the sides or in the back you don't go for the strong ones so like in these fights like whenever I'm taking these fights I'm trying to look for the players who my team is getting them to use defensives and then once my team gets them to like bait out defensives and whatnot then I'm like okay I'll commit and then I'll, and then I'll push in. But before that, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be the first person to ever pressure someone, right? Like he used two dodges in a sunbreak. So now when I get on him, I know he's dead. 
But like, but like I watched, right? I watched him go in. He jump rolled into me. Then he stun broke when the Mesmer stunned him or whatever it was. And then he rolled back out. And then after that, because I know his build, it is a 100% guaranteed kill. That That's a flow chart. But like, you have to like, kind of get used to the players too. Ugh. All classes are pretty viable. I would say in PvP, Vindy's good. I think Spellbreaker is actually in a pretty... Like, Warrior in general, I think, is in a pretty bad position now. Which I think is healthier because when Warrior... I'm not I'm not going to get into details. Um, I don't think Warrior is very good. I think Guardian is kind of bad. You can play support all through, like, gold into low plat. It's, like, okay. Um, but I, I would say I don't think Guardian is that amazing... I think DH has good matchups, but I don't think it's like a just generically good spec that you can always just play. Um, I think everyone thinks Willbender, even though I think it's a terrible spec. Like, I just think Willbender is garbage. Um, Revenant is absolutely insane right now. Ranger is really good right now. I think Thief is really good right now. NG is really good right now. Necro is okay. I think that Necro is a really strong class. It just doesn't fit well into the other classes that are good because there is just so much resistance in this meta. And Condi Reaper explicitly kind of loses a lot of mileage into some of the classes that are good, but into some of the classes that aren't good, like I think it does okay. Like I don't think Re like I don't think Reaper is doing good into like Revenant, Support Chrono, and and Hollow Smith and Deadeye, which are a bunch of the classes that I think are really good right now. So like I think it's good, but I don't think it fits well with the rest of the classes. Support Mesmer is absolutely insane. I think Power Mirage is actually after after playing it with a support, I think it's very good with a support. Without, I think it's kind of medium. Um And then what's left? Ellie. Uh technically Hammer Weaver is insane. Technically. But I don't I don't see many people playing it, and on top of that, you have to play it well. But I think it's one of those builds where it does better the better the average person in your game is, or it does good against really bad players who outnumber you. But I don't think it's like a carry spec. Why are you matched against me? Um, I don't know, buddy. But GG, smile. I'm the mech. DH no good. I, like, a couple things that you need to understand is like, there's two different versions of good. There's, this class is so good, you just play it. And then there's, this class is really good at counterpicking specific classes, and it's contextual, and it's based on things like map and team composition, right? So, like, a Dragon Hunter is going to do really, really well traditionally into Mesmers, traditionally into Thieves, and, uh, Bully Light classes in general, right? That's, like, kind of DH's niche. Um, and I don't know all of DH's matchups, so I'm not going to pretend to have an opinion. Excuse me. Um... So, but, but like a DH into things like Vindicator is just going to get eaten alive. So like it, so some are matchup dependent. Some are just kind of generically good everywhere. Can I show my build? Yeah. So I can dodge the cues. Sorry, buddy. Hammer Weaver? Yes. Okay, so one thing you have to know about Gilbert's 2 is the population is so low that, like, people don't play test. Like, I'm not going to give details because I'm going to wait for tomorrow because tomorrow's monthly. People, like, all the Thief mains that complain about Thief, Thief is very bugged right now. And I found a lot of the bugs on Thief, and Anya found a lot of the bugs on Thief because we, like, we are so passionate about theory crafting, And we love theory crafting, and we love playing new classes, and we love finding new builds. I'm not going to say what the bugs are today. But I'll probably play it on stream after monthly, and then it'll get patched out of the game within probably a week or two. But Thief is extremely bugged right now, and you can basically exploit the bugs in PvP to just do really fun, goofy stuff. And it's not like it's exploiting where I'm hitting like 50ks or something cool like that, but it's like, Thief is broken, and it's really good. And the, the thing is, is it like good enough to like win monthlies? No, it's a different kind of good. But is it good in ranked? Absolutely. It is very, very good in ranked. And there's a couple unintended mechanic interactions on thief that you can abuse that you can bug abuse and nobody's talking about it axe daredevil axe is very good on thief 
I use keyboard a little to play. I use skills more on the mouse. So classes that use a lot of skills with little CD make my gameplay difficult. That's why I'm avoiding better classes. That's why I actually got along better with Virtuoso than other classes. So what I would say, I played Guild Wars 2 for two years and it was my first MMO. I was about 12 or 13 years old and I did not have fun playing the game and I was very bad at the game because I didn't understand what keybinds were. Like I didn't have anyone to play with. I literally just played by myself. It was my first computer game. It was my first computer. I seriously recommend you take time, you get keybinds, and then you just get good at them because it'll make the game way more fun than, you know, not. Kinda have to pee. It's a it's a potty angle, burb. I also don't understand why people are playing right now. Reflects are up in, but I still think it's underrated. I 100% agree with you, and I validate and emphasize your opinion. Oh my gosh, I'm a Super Saiyan. Yep. Fuck. Ew, so much damage. Oh my gosh, I didn't even kill. Dead. Roll, roll, roll. <laughs> Bruh, 35 second CD on show 5. We do not like that. I should have played focus this game, but I went potty. I'm still new to counterpicking, mainly because I don't know if the enemy is plot or often. Sometimes the worst thing about comp, I don't know if that makes sense. Okay, it makes sense. One thing that I will admit is a lot of matchups and stuff change based on skill level. So, like, let's say, like, this was Anya. If this was Anya, I'm leaving this matchup instantly because I know 100% I can't win it. But against this guy, I think he's, like, kind of like a peepo. And what that means is he's so inexperienced in the matchup. I don't believe that I'm going to have, that I'm going to respect, basically, his ability to play this matchup at the at the full potential in which case i lose so as a result i'll take the matchup anyways and i can win it but i'm playing the player not the matchup right because i would never 1v1 hammer kata but right it's because i have the experience to play for so many years i know a vast majority of the population of players who i will call relevant and that's why a lot of the time you'll see really 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 good pvpers Man, I have to like try so hard. Roll, roll, roll. Balls, I suck. Cleave him! 
Life. But no. Ugh. Roll. I'm gonna change targets to the Reaper because it dies way faster. He ports on me, then I do damage to him. Yeah. Meter Monkey's pump. Oh, he got pumped. Dude, with when when the chrono hits you, dude, you are a Gatling gun. It's ranked. If you're good enough at one spec, you can carry regardless of any comp. If you're better than them, a lot of a lot of ranked is just you can get away with more options. Like so, basically, it's like like let's say I can like go middle and take a team fight. I can go far and decap, or I can go close and take a one v one. Right? Like let's pretend those are my my three options. The better I am as a player, the more options I have. Right? Because like let's say, like let's say you're not good mechanically. That 1v1, if you're not confident that you're going to win it, you shouldn't take it, right? So, but, like, as someone who can outskill your opponents, more rotations become available to me. Does that make sense? Oh my gosh, he didn't die. That is unblockable. Dodge. Do it. The laser beams did big damage. Gotta go kill the guardian. I'm not even gonna walk to the node because he's gonna go this way. Do it. Damn. Laser beam we trust. Knock him into my team. Dodge a shatter. Roll. Unblockable. He has one more roll. One more roll. And like 10 involves. Alright, into blink. That was good out of him. I'm leaving! I don't want to die! I'm gonna just hide in the corner. Dead ass. Uh. Roll. Ew. I'm trying Chrono. Can you tell me a good beginner build for Chrono for Worthy World? Uh... <sighs> Unfortunately, like, just to, like, kind of set you up for success, I really don't recommend Chronomancer in Worthy World because I think it's bad. But if you want to play Worthy World Chrono, I recommend you go on YouTube and you look at the most recent videos of montages that people have played in the last month or so. And then I would start there. Is, is is what I would genuinely do. Like, when I, like, go Worthy World, I'm just going to play what I play in PvP because I don't care about min-maxing in Worthy World. Because um, I, I think it's really bad. As a DH main, I can get some horrible matchups. No, 100%. But, like, one of the cool parts about Gorosu PvP is when you're playing a class, like... When you're playing a class, right? Let's say you're playing Dragon Hunter, right? And you, and you spawn right here, right? You're the evil shield class. Ugh. If there's, like, something that counters you, so, like, let's say it's Ellie. Right? It looks like a bunny, but that's fine. Um, 
you can simply just go and have impact here, here. You don't have to push the 1v1. So you can still have impact as long as you have good matchups. And that's like one of the cool parts about playing Guild Wars 2 PvP. I have, I have a really good video on my YouTube channel about playing a game of ranked where basically someone countered me and they obliterated me 1v1. Like I, they just totally beat me. And as a result, I was like, okay, I'm going to just start playing the map better than them. And this player mechanically beat me and they played a better spec than me. So like half of the aspect of the game, they beat me. But I can just go out and rotate them. And that's that's one of the cool parts of Oculus that I actually like from a design standpoint. Our chrono is hard if you're getting harassed by a thief or a fast class. I don't think it's hard. I just think it's bad. I play every class. Some chrono player play so well and look cool. So I'm trying it. Yeah, do your best, man. Should I try to add everyone above a certain rating on my friends list and recheck players for the match starts? Not. I would. I would never take it that deep. A lot of people do that. Like my followers list in this game is massive. Oh, I'm on my alt. Never mind. Um. What I usually recommend is if you're trying to win, right, what I would do is I would add a specific player so that you can dodge a specific, like, okay, so let's say Bengal Cat has been absolutely clapping my cheeks and ranked, right? What I'll do is I'll add him, and then once he gets in a game, then I'll queue, and then I'll play, and then I'll just dodge that cycle of ranked queues. Um... But the reality is that that realistically is only going to work for like one or two players because eventually you're going to get thrown into a rotation of, of good players, right? So there's always going to be a player better than you is something that you should kind of remember. Is Mirage good for Warby World or is Virtuoso better? Um, I think I think they're like, okay. I think they're kind of medium. I, I don't think Mesmer is very good for like, like solo roaming and whatnot. I, I'm sure Vert is probably fine. But in my personal opinion, from playing other classes in Morphe World, I think other classes are way stronger and way more fun because you do more. If there's a better player than you and you don't know how to counter it, you should avoid the 1v1s as much as possible and watch them fight your teammates so you can learn how to counter it. So there's there's a couple of different ways to approach this. So when I was like, I don't know, we'll say low plat, actually just a gold player in general, what I would do is um, if I lost a 1v1, I wouldn't take it again for the rest of the game. Like even if I give the note up for free, unless it's like at 450 points in PvP matches, a lot of the dynamics and decisions change, right? But for me, that's what I would do. The next thing is, even if someone counters you, if you're playing a DPS class, you can kill them 2v1. So, like, let's say I'm playing Dragon Hunter and I don't like Reaper, right? I don't like that matchup. If my Thief is attacking the Reaper, I can go help my Thief and kill that Reaper, and that's okay. As long as they don't feed. So there's there's a trade-off. Hey, good night, big shorts. Yo, what's up, man? Appreciate you. Where's the shirtless stream with oil? Dog is right here. Oh, I'm just kidding. Which classes do you think are the most fun for War versus World, other than Melee? As I use skills on the mouse, makes my gameplay difficult. Classes that have short OCDs. Uh, Deadeye? Uh, Deadeye. Uh, Thief in general. I think Ranger is very good. I had some fun on NG, even though NG doesn't have stealth. You can't help me. I... That's the private stream, dog. You're not even subbed. No, don't sub. Don't sub, because I'm not taking my clothes off. I almost spit my drink out. Yeah, I got you.
No, we got the winner's cues. I have a shirt on anyways, dude. <laughs> okay, take it off. That's crazy, dog. That's crazy. How was the state of it? Uh... PvP in Gears 2 is always consistent with one thing. One class is so broken, it makes every other class feel kind of unfun. Damn, I can tell which one of my siblings love me the most because they actually said happy birthday at midnight. Yeah, and she knows it. You won. Thank you. Happy birthday? Yeah, thanks, man. Appreciate you. Happy 12th birthday. Dude, how'd you know, man? <laughs> I'm playing shield. We're the same age now? Definitely not. I'm a big kid. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, thanks guys. Thanks guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I'm about a slowly recovering from support chrono. I mean, I think the main issue with the current PvP balance is some classes are just so much better than others that it's like frustrating. Okay, this song is not not the energy. Oh, you know what song I do want to listen to? It's my birthday. I can play whatever I want. Uh, this song's been stuck in my head. I'm going middle. What am I doing? No, 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 no. This song slaps. All right, this kid terrifies me, but I'm probably... Oh, I'm getting sniped. Roll, 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 roll. Into the rifle five. I like that, it's clean. Is 7K raw? Ew! Give me out, give me out. Oh, short bow is busted. Hold on, this is not the right version. Wait, why can't I find like the actual version? They're all remixes. We got kind of picked apart because one of our teammates is pushing far. Oh, it's Lemon.
Go talk. Dog, I know you peed yourself a little bit there. I have to wait for my Mesmer to respawn. I'm scared. The Guardian's looking to ring me, or a moob. Heathen. They are on my balls. And they died for it. Let's go. Hashtag pulled out. Roll. Roll. Thank you. A moob days. Damage. Dog, I can't find this song! They 2v1 far. I probably have Thief coming middle. No, Thief's there. Dog, you're so cringe. Get get out of here. I get no phantasms. Steal again. Oh, I didn't swap greatsword. What? Roll, 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 roll. Okay, or just die. That, that also works. I, I, I hate thief. 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 If you're gonna snipe me, at least do it on your main, pussy. I'll say, I'll say exactly who that account is right now. Bruh, wait. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, why did the ties go further? Thief is too broken. No way he greeds, right? He just gets free decap or beast. Oh my gosh. Thief takes no brain. Hey. Hey. Lemon. Stop going far. AFK close. Thief annoying. If Lemon literally just stops pushing far, this game gets 50% easier. Wait, you're playing SD with blinding powder. Are you dead? <laughs> Wait, that was... Was that Taha stun? Oh, man. I got time warped after I swapped out a greatsword. That sucks. I'm dead as fuck. Cleave, cleave. We have a beautiful two cap. Dude, I want music and I can't find the song I wanted. I'm so sad. I kind of don't like pushing. Okay, so this is why pushing far here is bad. We're going to push far. The thief is going to come back and decap middle behind us. And then we're going to be in an unfavorable fight at their close node. But fuck it, who cares? What the fuck? I have no idea how I died. I'm dead. I got a mobed and I used the roll and I stayed a, a mob. See how as soon as as soon as Lemon looked far, he pulled the guardian. They got the decap middle and the decap close. Like Lemon is absolutely griefing. Lemon. You need to just be content with momentum because they have thief. Roll, roll, roll your boat. Knock. Signet of stone. Oh my gosh, I cannot kill him because Ranger's busto. I have deeper here. Give me my candy! Wow, tides of time cancelled itself. Yeah, I'm dead. 
Wait, no, he is DP. I thought it was SD. I don't think I don't think this is gettable. Rogue. This game is really tough, but I think it's winnable. I just I'm the the reason that it's tough is because nothing on their team is a quick farm except the Tempest, the NG, and the Guardian. But the NG and the Guardian actually have good mint time to kill. So, Lemons 2v1 middle. Uh, this might just be a push far angle. Did Lemon push middle or am I tripping balls? I don't think so. I think... No, the Lemon was. He, Lemon was close and the Rev was middle. Hmm. Okay, so I pulled too far. So my job here is I'm going to die, but I want it to take as long as possible. Guardian has no JI. And she's going to push, so I want to hold this corner. NG, the guard is literally going to sit until Ring of Warding is off CD and then he's going to J on me. Remember, I'm not playing for kills. I'm playing to live and waste as much time as possible so my team can win close. Swiftness. Huge OOC. Guardian does not have JI for another 20 seconds, maybe 22 seconds. I'll get free newt middle, survive my 1v2, and then he's not on sword. So all I'm thinking about is scepter. Oh, no, dude, the slick shoes hit me twice. I'm dead. Oh, that's so stupid. That sucks, man. All my momentum was sacrificed to the code. And then because it's not a team fight map, the thief is going to permanently harass our team. Oh. Dude, the, uh, okay, this game is being thrown by the Ellie because he's giving the thief and the ranger perma value and lemon because he's feeding. Oh my gosh, Shadow Step? Yeah, we lose. We don't lose. Yeah, we lose. GG. First loss of the night. GG next. Again. Oh my gosh, I almost responded with happy birthday. Mm. Yo, can someone ban cat? No, not it's my birthday if I can cry. I like the spinning like a ballerina one. There's just a good version of it that I don't have. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. The best strategy is to play against your own team. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
I don't know what I was supposed to do there. It was kind of goofy. So, like, if you look at the map in our comp, our goal is to team fight middle, and then the Ellie side nodes close, and then if the Ellie ever gets plussed, the DH or the Vindicator can plus one, right? So your job is either to plus one close if he gets a 1v1, or you can team fight with this middle. The issue in that game was that we got picked apart in roads, so we never, like, set up with our support because people died behind, and we got, like, spread out because we never made it to the node. And then the other issue was... Anytime we would win momentum, Lemon would overextend far, and then when the team would try and bail Lemon out, we would all die. And then the whole purpose of a team fight comp into a roamer comp is to team fight. And then on top of that, the Weaver, every time he would get the full cap, he would like go middle into a fight we already won, get, de get decapped close, right? So like the Weaver didn't get value because Weaver's kind of shit and slow, and Forest is kind of a long map for roamers. Um, and they, they like were thinking about far when reality like we should just perma hold two and then we can push far and then the team fight moves to their spawn to trap them and then the guy holding home instead moves to middle and then we'll just give up our home for free and if the thief wants it he can have it so like your job realistically there is to plus one not to take 1v1s generally but you're playing vindy which is pretty good but it wasn't it wasn't your fault it's okay Who's my duo? Swift? No, I don't. I don't play with Swift anymore. Um, I'm playing with Taha. Mod me out, ban cat right now. It's all your fault. Damn. To be fair, we were also sniped by an alt account, and that played like a massive role in us losing. Because that is a fresh alt. And and not only is it a fresh alt, but it's someone who knows how to play into Mesmer, which is why I got molested. There is there is nothing you can do against a good SD thief. Er, thief. We see some Condi Mirage? No, I'm sorry. It, it's unfortunately so bad, I just am not even gonna like play it like for memes or for fun or for entertainment. Like it's it's just that bad. Still friends? Uh not really, no. Legit question, if someone is sniping you but not throwing your game, why is it bad? It's not bad at all. It's a it's definitely a part of streaming. Although I like I'm friends with this person, so they're just being an animal. Which is which is fine. I understand you're trying to learn it and it's giving you depression. There's really nothing to learn because it's just bad. Like if you if you think about Connie Mirage, right? There's there's a couple different versions of it, right? But the main issue with Connie Mirage is that it's a side node that doesn't win 1v1s. And when you're playing a side node that doesn't win 1v1s, it's it's kind of pointless. Like you just don't have good matchups. So that's that's why I don't really play it. Like, trust me, trust me, when Mesmer is a good side node, one of my favorite things to play. But I just think it's really bad right now. Dom Connie Mirage best. Ugh. That build got like so like that like EU glorified that build so hard and I was like, eh. It's okay. Like it it, it was fine. It, it was fine. I don't think it was Top players complain everyone's trash and games are low skill. Well, that's like the beauty of it. Like, I, I try really hard not to do this, but it's like, like you complain that all the games are 500 o stomps, or you play against good players and then say that they suck and complain that you lose because someone on your team is worse. Like, there's no winning with matchmaking usually. I I, I try I try really hard not to BM like people I don't know. I'll, I'll only BM people usually that like. I have really high expectations of so like let's say like um what's his name the thief toxos let's say toxos gets on my team and he plays like shit okay i've literally sat in discord with toxos like trying to like help him like be good at the game and like i've duoed with him and like try hard comms and like i've scrimmed with him and like played like like i've played with toxos so i have expectations so if toxos plays like shit i'm gonna be like yo dog you, you played like shit but like if it's like a if it's like a thief like eos or something, I'm gonna be like, you know, like it's just ranked, man. Like sometimes people don't play good, and that's okay.
It was a new way to play Mesmer. It was pretty spammy, to be honest. I think I think that build was definitely overhyped. Like, the only people that were really playing it was, what, me, Misha, Rip? And Helseth played it a little bit. Actually, Helseth played it a pretty good bit, if I remember. Like, he was actually posting quads and stuff. Oh, God bless. He won and done. Low fat muffin. Juicy jiggles. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> Dog! What is that? I'm not gonna play shield this game. I'm gonna try focus, even though I think it's booty. It's my goal not giving up dog just play it when they buff it the the issue is that mesmer's mechanics are insanely good like i think connie mesmer has insanely good mechanics mesmer will be a lot better after a couple different combinations of things can happen not all but some first off i think all the weapon skills need to be buffed for the connie weapons because they need to be melded with the traits correctly because they haven't done that the next thing i think they need to do is I think Confusion needs a rework where it's less punishing on button activation and more punishing just to have it on your bar, similar to conditions like Burning, Bleeding, Torment. And then lastly, I think all the durations of Confusion on Mesmer, I think they need to get rid of the Confusion duration increased traits and then just increase the base coefficients in PvP because I think the base coefficients are just atrocious. And then the final thing is, I think they need to add more Condies to Mesmer's kit besides Confusion, so it's not like an all-in on one Condi spec. Like, I think, like, Putting a little poison here or something would be like really nice or like not torment and confusion. Like contextual conditions are bad. Washed up rat, I see. Oh, he's core? Oh my gosh. No, he's not. He's durable. There we go. The two years it was left to rot. Yeah, and then they make it a support, which I mean, it is technically good. I greeted my heal because of poison and got one shot. That sucks. I was... I took more than 5k. That's not accurate. I think I saw 8k on my bar. Bruh. They did it in sync. Fuck. I, I picked focus when they didn't have a daredevil. Cocks a flopping. Dog. Dog. Ew! The, the, the core guard and daredevil like dp are like really shit they're just really good into me so as long as i try my best not to give them value i probably get trope out here or or leaves both are fine we have free home ticking so like this is a two cap thief going close i'm gonna try and match if this thief beats me in this 1v1 i'm not gonna take it again for the rest of the game if he's shit and i win then i will Yeah, he leaves. I defend my node. Oh, he gets free decap middle. See, this is what I'm talking about when teams m win middle and then they don't, like, hold momentum, right? Because, like, a two-cap is winning, right? But when you push far, they have a respawn advantage. I have Ellie and I don't know where Thief is. So now I'm going to just go bail out my support because my support's running around with, like, a chicken cut off with their head cut off. Oh my gosh, that's a power mesmer. Uh... Roll, 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 roll. Balls. Fuck. I do take this 1v1, even though I can get plus by the thief, and the only reason is because... Oh my gosh, he took so much damage from that. Now? 
Yeah, so the reason that I take this 1v1 is because we're not contesting far. Do something, do something. Close, no cigar. Our whole team is in shambles. I'm not gonna full cap this because I wanna go get shield, and then even if I full cap this and then get shield, the thief's just gonna decap me, so it doesn't matter, right? See how this sword is moving towards close? It's the thief. This game is a little tough because we have Daddy Longshaft and uh, Cox a floppin'. You know what I'm saying? I really don't want to push this 2v1. I just I turned my camera. He's gonna rally, but that's fine. Be gone, heathen! Wait, you're dead! Okay, this is not winnable. I can't do more, team, please, please! I wanna win so bad. We just hold, please. It's very hard for me to carry against a good daredevil because I can't match them and it counters me. So that's like the issue with these games where they're getting daredevils. I want sword actually, I don't... I hope Long Shaft goes and gets uh, the top buff or something. Yeah, see how Thief's going? We both know. I don't have to jaunt here, I get it without. Oh, this is actually really bad because I'm actually about to get 2v1 by the Guardian. Oh my gosh, he plussed me. Daddy Longshaft, God bless. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> we got a kill middle. And then the... Th oh, I go close here, actually. Okay, so the reason I don't decap far here is because if I go far and then they get kills close, it's actually worse than just matching this fight. I want to be in even fights. Is Thief here? Am I am I just dead? Don't don't do it. Don't do it. Ugh. No swiping. I want this kill. What? Oh, I had chill. Oh my gosh. 
time warp. Burr, big damn. No heal for you. Thief. Bruh. What's first, Mesmer? Oh, Kata. Thief gets close, that's fine. And I have Guardian. The goal here is not to overextend. As I viciously feed. Big damn! No way he lives. Drop shot, drop shot, drop shot. Do it, do it, do it. God bless. Oh, the thief is just dominating the map, man. I want to win. I want to win. I'm just not even gonna care about buffs because kill, kills matter too much. No, don't die to the core guardian, you freaking vindicator. Oh, it's just so bad. We lost middle instantly. Yeah, we lose. We lost middle and close, like, simultaneously. Oh, I'm trying so hard. Don't die, Daddy Long Shafts. We need you, soldier. Bar is self resing. I have to go now. I'm not trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with me. I really want that node. I'm gonna go for it. Fuck it. Because they're getting free close. I'm dead. Fuck. Where did Taha go? Oh, that sucks. GG. We actually don't have time to wait because I thought we were going to lose close because the Thief is getting 2v1 value and then he's going to decap middle. Unluckies. GGWP, everybody. All right, this is actually last game of the night too, so unlucky. Don't be hating. I'm definitely not hating. Why run dueling over illusions? Because they buffed it really hard. GG. Please don't be a duo. Dog. GG's. I think, honestly, like, I'm not gonna say that these guys were, like, trolling and griefed. Like, I'm not gonna say that they were sniping and griefed, but 
outside the funny name dynamic in the last game, we actually only lost, I think, with people sniping. Crazy Thief can win games by running on the map, sitting on uncontested nodes. It's only it's only against bad players. Thief, Thief takes a lot of advantage of players that don't know what to do against it because it goes invisible and, like, teleports around. But, like, when you play good against it, like, Thief feels really bad because it has no options. Regardless, GG's to everyone. Excuse me. No, that was last. That was last. Last game. Last game. All right. Do we raid any gamers? Let me see if Taha is going to keep. Are you still going to stream PvE? Yeah. Okay, right, I'm reading Taha. <sighs> Alright, gamers. GG's. Reading Taha. Thanks for chilling with me. I will not I do not know the next time I'll be streaming. No idea. No idea. No idea. No idea. No idea. Peace, 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 peace. Take the raid, please. Like, just make my life easy and click take the raid. Like, I can see who does and doesn't take the raid. Just take the raid. Come on. Come on. Come on. Alright, peace guys. Appreciate y'all.